find all zeros of 2x to the power of 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2 if two of its zeros are square root of 2 and minus square root of 2. What is given here? This is p of x. So p of x is equal to 2x to the power of 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2. And uh, it is also given two of its uh, zeros are uh, root 2 and uh, minus root 2. It has uh, four zeros, two zeros are given. So x plus root 2 into x minus root 2 is a factor of p of x. If we multiply these two by using a plus b into a minus b formula, what will you get? x square minus 4. So, x square minus 4 is a factor of p of x. Means, if we divide p of x by x square minus 4, you will get what? Remainder as 0. Now, let us divide p of x by x square plus 0x minus 2. Since uh, here x is missing, we, we can put a 0 into x. First term of uh, p of x divided by first term of uh, the factor that is g of x. 2x to the power of 4 by x square. What is it? 2x square. Then we multiply 2x square with the, this thing. 2x square into x square, what will you get? 2x to the power of 4. 2x square into 0x, 0x cube. 2 into minus 2, minus 4x square. Now let us uh, subtract. This and this get cancels. Here uh, minus 3x cube. Here positive sign x square plus 6x. Then 3x cube divided by x square minus 3x. 3x into x square minus 3x into x square. What will you get? Minus 3x cube minus 3 into 0x. 0x square minus 3x into minus 2 that is plus 6x. Now if you observe this and this get cancels, this and this also get cancels, you will have here x square plus 0x minus 2. x square divided by x square, what is it? 1. 1 into this thing. What will you have? x square plus 0x minus 2. So the remainder is 0. It is clear that 2x square minus 3x plus 1 is also a factor of p of x. So we have already this as a factor. This is also a factor. So now let us factorize it minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. By splitting the middle term method, 2 into 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3. So, minus 2x, so minus 2x minus x. Here 2x square, here 1. Now, here 2x is common x minus 1 here minus 1 is common x minus 1 here remember to put 0 so x minus 1 into 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 1 by 2 so the other zeros are 1 and half Already we have 1 half.
ha we have obtained them just now and uh, square root of 2 and negative of square root of 2 are the given zeros so we have four zeros